Hi everyone. My name is Wendy Hilvolt and I have a great book about a little hedgehog named Hal. It's called Hal and the Very Long Race and it is based on Psalm 139 verses 13 and 14. Hal gets very nervous when his friends ask him to do something that he isn't good at. He feels embarrassed that he will look silly and lose. Have you ever felt that way? What are some things that are hard for you to do? Let's read the story and see what happens to Hal. One morning, Hal came out of his hedgehog hole and stretched his arms as far as they could reach into the fresh air. What a beautiful day, he thought. I wonder what my friends are doing. He went to look for them. Hal came to the top of a hill and saw Ava, Rufus, Joe, and Yuri. Good morning, Hal, Ava called. I was just telling the others about my idea for something fun to do. Oh, it's the best, most wonderful idea ever. What is it, Ava? Hal asked. A picnic? Hide and seek? Skipping rocks in the stream? Even better, Ava said. We're going to have a race from here to the tree on the other side of the hill. Hal's stomach felt like it had dropped to its toes. This was not good news. My legs are so short, Hal thought. I can't go as fast as the others. I'll lose. Everyone will laugh at me. Hal didn't want to be alone. He wanted to spend time with his friends and that meant running in the race. What do you say, Hal? Ava asked, will you race with us? Um, okay, Hal said, I guess. Yuri flew away with a ribbon for the finish line in her beak. Ava, Hal, Joe, and Rufus lined up for the race. Okay, Ava said, on your marks, get set, go. Ava, Joe, and Rufus burst forward. Ava and Joe bounded up the hill. Rufus's legs moved so quickly, they turned into a blur. Hal ran as quickly as he could, but his legs couldn't carry him far enough. By the time he was halfway up the hill, his friends were already on the other side. Oh no, Hal thought, this is exactly what I was afraid would happen. Hal stopped and thought about what to do. Maybe I can run just a little bit faster. I'll still lose, but maybe if I don't lose so badly, my friends won't laugh at me. Hal pushed himself as fast as his legs would carry him. He ran faster than he had ever run before, faster than he thought he could. Then he ran even a little bit faster than that. And finally, he got to the top of the hill, only to find that Ava, Joe, and Rufus were almost at the finish line. Hal wanted to disappear. He wanted to hide. So he did what he always did when he was feeling embarrassed. He curled up into a little ball. As he tucked himself up tight, he said a prayer to help him feel better. Dear God, I'm not good at doing some things. Please help me be proud of the things I am good at. Amen. While his eyes were still closed, Hal felt himself begin to roll down the hill. He rolled faster and faster. Hal rolled so fast he couldn't see anything, but he heard Yuri's voice clear and loud. Hal, Hal is fast. Go, Hal, go. Hal rolled to the bottom of the hill. When he came to a stop, he uncurled and shook his head, feeling dizzy. His friends all ran toward him. 
How? Ava yelled. You are so fast. What happened? Hal asked. You came in second, Ava said. I was first, but Joe and Rufus were slowing down because they were tired and you rolled right past them. Hal could hardly believe it. He didn't embarrass himself. He did his best and it was enough. I didn't know you could do that, Hal, Ava said. Hal stood up straight and tall, as tall as his little legs could make him. I might not be very good at running, but I'm great at rolling. The end. Wasn't that a great ending? I was so proud of Hal for trying to run even when he was uncomfortable doing it. You know, God created each one of us differently and we all have our very own special gifts. He loves each one of us just the way we are. What are your special gifts? Thanks for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day.